It is the 29th of the 4th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Let's start with the headlines. E&E News. Fukushima evacuee housing compared to World War II internment camps for Japanese Americans. A large number of Japanese have been displaced. They are in packed, cramped housing with little or no hope and uh, no light at the end of the tunnel so far. So, yeah, some pretty scary things going on. Expert, material is flowing out from bottom of giant sinkhole. This is Louisiana Bayou Corn. Volume of the hole doubled since October. Now 25 acre settlement area. Uh, they're saying it's crumbling from underneath and it's expanding. Um, and will continue to expand for years and years to come. No telling what they've got buried under there and what they're trying to cover up. Uh, just the insanity continues. Situation in Fukushima is beyond imagination. Many young and old people dead from heart attacks. Young woman died of leukemia. And that cesium does attack the heart muscles. They've proven that from the studies after Chernobyl. Um, highest fallout levels in Tokyo soon after Fukushima crisis began. Um, the cesium levels are through the roof in uh, Tokyo. Here, let me click on it. They're saying uh, cesium-134 is at 22 becquerels per micron or whatever, and uh, cesium-132 or 137 is at 42, and uh, those levels are high. It's probably due to the pollen, um, all the cherry blossoms and whatnot going throughout Fukushima or Tokyo, all over Japan. Great Wall of Fukushima to be built underground, question mark, structure around reactors proposed. Uh, they started a wall project to try to get the um, groundwater away from the reactors on the mountainside, but they abandoned that because the water is still leaching from the reactors out into the ocean. So now they're going to try to build a wall to contain that water kind of thing. So the insanity continues. Anonymous Insider, this is very important, something grossly wrong, quote-unquote, at California Nuclear Plant. Fears for his safety, political or potential reactor meltdown if restarted. This is the San Ofre Nuclear Power Plant. you got to remember Arnie Gunnarsson did a video on how they expanded the tubes, and the tubes are rattling, and it's not safe. Um, they do want to restart this nuclear power plant on a um, limited um, run kind of thing, um, trying to save face and money in the haps of their major mess up. Uh, San Onfre should be shut down along with every other nuclear power plant on this planet. Clay sheet used for Fukushima nuclear waste leaked after just eight days. TEPCO, quote, designed to prevent leakage completely, and again, they are half ass in this and, and uh, get her done and it's no surprise at all to anybody who's been paying attention that things have gotten as bad as they've gotten in Fukushima. <laughs> Fukushima plant quote did amazingly well performed beyond its expectations they did some tests <sighs> it's a fluff piece wall around giant sinkhole must be rerouted land is sinking outside of the boundary ongoing service substance and that whole land is sliding kind of thing and they're building nuclear reactors on them. Huffington Post, countless Gulf residents with symptoms as if from a sci-fi horror film bleeding from ears, anus, and breasts. No telling what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico with all the crap that's pumped out, uh, all the chemicals they dumped on it. It's just a toxic soup. Gross containment failure of Fukushima reactors. Now we are seeing plutonium far from the plants. I've been reporting this since day one. They are MOX fuel nuclear reactors. They were running them illegally. Um, I reported that the CIA and the Japanese were having a secret nuclear weapons program that they were probably running, I can't say for sure, at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And that's why things are the way they are. Big cover-up, big mess. Japan and IAEA grossly downplaying Fukushima cesium released. Chernobyl-like levels leaked from the plant. That is a major, major understatement. And um, 
shock as expert says tar sands oil is flowing into Arkansas River. Lake Conway, more animals found soaked in crude. Um, this tar sand, this is the one out in Arkansas, the, the, the pipe bust. That tar sand is so heavy, it's going right underneath those booms that they put up. Um, it's just cosmetic, really. Uh, over to Fukushima Diary Daily News. Densely growing mutated dandelions in Minamasoma. And again, more um, mutated plants that they're saying is not linked to radioactivity uh, all throughout eastern Japan. Greenpeace says cesium-137 from two of 30 fish samples sold at supermarkets. Apparently they bought 30 fish from Tokyo supermarkets and two of them were laced with cesium-137. Be very careful about what you eat. Uh, 210 becquerels per kilogram from edible wild plants. 102 kilometers from Fukushima nuclear power plant. And again, this is just an ongoing situation. This accumulates this accumulates and we are the top of the food chain so you got to think about that um, reality of Fukushima worker quote had over 20 millisieverts in nine months and his take-home pay was only sixteen hundred dollars US and the leaking reservoirs may contain 1300 becquerels per M3 squared, whatever, a plutonium 238 and a CM244. And again, these tanks are loaded with all this crap. It mocks fuel, blew up, it's all over the place. Of course, they're going to find plutonium as much as they don't like to report on it. Um, that's about all I got for you today. My cat's obviously crying to get outside. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.